So very often when you gather some information from Google Form, over time, you may want to do some sort of analysis on that data. And the quickest way usually to do it is to use some pivot tables. So in this particular case, see, we get some submissions over time. We also have some different types of products and quantities. So let's just do this. I'm going to go ahead and select A through C, go to data, and I'm just going to do a quick pivot table to do a quick analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to ask where to place this new worksheet is fine. See, it's called pivot table now. So over here, I want to start with values to know what to analyze. So values will be the column that has a function. In this case, I would like to add up quantities together to figure out how many orders we're getting. So to do that, I'm going to go to values and add that quantity to this and make sure we're summing it. So total quantity for everything combined is apparently this much. So now I would like to break it down maybe by month or something like that using this timestamps. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the rows and add that timestamp as a column here. And by default, you can see how we get all of these individual dates and times, that's not very helpful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this timestamps and go to create pivot date group. And here I'm going to choose how I want these grouped. So I'm going to do something like year month. So if I do that, see how we nicely now summed up all June 2019 then July 2019 and keep going until May and we have our numbers. And if you don't want to see the zeros here, you could just make sure when the timestamp is blank, let's not display this. So what you do, you scroll down and under filters, we're going to add the timestamp. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the filter to say filter by condition. And the condition I'm going to choose is that it's not empty. So press OK, and you'll see how that is gone now. So we get our totals nicely done in here. And this is now tied up to our Google Form data. So let's just call this summary. So what that means is that if I go to the form and submit a new line, so right now, May 2020, see the total is 434. I'm going to go and add another 600 of something. So that should jump that number to a thousand. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that form that adds to that spreadsheet and just do 600 quantity for this. So now if I go back and it's basically in there because it automatically adds to this form. And if I jump down, see it's down here. And this is basically automatically picked up by our pivot table. We got our totals. You could also take a breakdown and also do a second level breakdown. In our data, we have these different items. You might want to see the total for each item or something like that. So you could go back to this and add another row breakdown and do the item column. And now see how it breaks down by item like this. Now I only have four type of products, so it would be nicer to actually put this item under columns. When you don't have a lot of options in pivot tables, using the second breakdown as a column makes a lot more sense. So now you can see how we get this layout when we have this different types of products. And basically the total for each and then the grand total for everything, right? If you want to learn more about this, watch pivot table videos. I'll link in the description again for more detail, but overall that should give you ideas how to do some quick analysis and link to your form data. And if you did watch about my formulas video with Google Forms, I did show how to make a copy of your form data and basically have this shadow copy with some extra 
formula columns. And generally, if you're doing this, then you would do the pivot table from that. So instead of doing this, what I did here, I'm gonna delete that. And I would just use this to build that pivot table. So I would just select all of these columns, data, pivot table, new sheet, and the rest is the same. But now because we have more columns here, you could also use those columns. So maybe you don't want the total quantity as number of items, you want the total dollar amount. So this way I can add under values instead of quantity, now the total, and then I can break it down by timestamp. And again, I have to group this and you could group this any way you like, right? Maybe not by year and month, you want to do it by day of the week, like Monday through Sunday sort of thing. I wanna get rid of this blank, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter, the same timestamp column filter here, and just change this to filter by condition, is not empty. You can change this column names. I'm gonna call this weekday. Okay, and then you could break it down by your other columns, so maybe the item. Now we get total dollar amount for each in this particular table. Let's call this summary again. And yet again, this is linked to our submission. So for example, in Tuesday numbers, we have $120 for 12 ounce orange juice. So let me go ahead and add something because this is Tuesday, this is where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna go back, 120, let's keep that in mind. I'm not adding the dollar amount here, I'm adding the quantity, it's just gonna be calculated automatically. And now because that's added, now that should change the dollar amount, see? And that's because that's automatically calculated now here. See, that's the new line and we have our summary from the pivot table. And that's a quick overview how you can get some quick summaries from your Google Forms data. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.